Hi everyone, my name is Kevin and welcome to Exploration Theme Parks and today I'm at Six Flags Magic Mountain to mostly check out the update on the Golden Bear Theater project. So, let's get to it. Solar project's coming along nicely. Look at the size of those. They've definitely gotten a lot more done since I came here last month. One thing, I didn't, I couldn't tell over there, I didn't look, but I don't know. I would think they would repave it. Maybe they repave it after they install the solar panels. But yeah, this is gonna power like the, <laughs> the entire park and I think some homes too. So yeah, it's pretty crazy. But yeah, we're uh, starting the trek to the front gate. Beautiful day here today though. Clear skies, nice and cool right now. And we've had a good amount of rain lately, so that took me out of some weekends. I can't really come to the parks during the week because of my daytime job. But like today, I was thinking about Knott's Berry Farm, but I couldn't squeeze it in just because of time. But I, I still wanted to get to a park, so I wanted to come to Six Flags today, Magic Mountain. Mm, try to get on a ride or two and uh, take another look at the Golden Bear Theater Project. But yeah, this is why they need to repay the parking lot. Oh look, a helicopter just landed. Let's go on a walk though, shall we? And we've made it. Quick, huh? And we made it in the park. Good amount of people coming in and a lot of cars coming in the parking lot. It's a Saturday and I think it's the end of spring break for a lot of schools. But I'm gonna head to X2 right now. See what the line looks like. Oh, we got Bugs Bunny, Bugs Bunny, Bugs Bunny. But yeah, it's been a little bit since I went on X2 because they had it closed down for, I think some type of refurbishment. Not quite sure what they did, but I saw it testing as I was coming into the park. So let's go see. X2, that way. X2. This way. X2, this way. X2, this way.
All right, waited 40 minutes for X2. It was an epic ride. It was so smooth. And when it's smooth, it is uh, uh, so good. And they just got in the announcement that it broke down. So, you know, I got my ride in and then broke down after I got off the ride. So I guess good timing, but yeah, such a good ride. Great way to sit, start a morning. Yeah, X2 is probably at least an hour and a half or two hour wait now. Uh, they have two trains, which is good, but yeah, operations are kind of slow, spitting them out. It just broke down, so it's gonna be even worse now. So yeah, epic ride on X2. I think I'm just gonna take a stroll around the park, go up the Samurai Summit, check out Superman, see if that's open, and just kind of have a nice morning walk around the park. It's gonna be pretty crowded today because uh, it's the end of spring break. It's a beautiful Saturday. But yeah, I want to definitely check out the Golden Bear Theater Project and see what's going on over there. And I know there was a rumor going around that they were bringing back the onboard audio on X. They haven't yet, but at least they had the flames on. So I think Rabbit's Camp Crossing should put in a Maverick-type coaster stationed there, right here. And then try to squeeze in some sort of flat ride over here and move Tatsu's engines up the Samurai Summit where it belongs. But one could dream, one could dream. So yeah, here's some wait times. Full throttle, 90 minutes, Revolution 45. That's probably because it's one train off. Twisted 30, could be more. Viper 30, could be on one train, not sure. X2, closed. Ninja, closed, broken down. And you might notice that Wonder Woman's not on there. I believe that it's still closed down. They're doing some refurbishment work on it, unfortunately. But hopefully they get it back open soon and for a long, longer term. And wow, Roaring Rapids is open. They probably opened it for spring break. Don't think I would ride it today, even if I wanted to. Like it's, it's definitely not warm out today. But let's take the secret stairs up to Samurai Summit. So we made it up to the top of Samurai Summit. Ninja is currently down. Seems like I'm the only one up here. <laughs> so that makes me think Superman's not open either. But we shall see. Yeah, see, they should they should really think about moving Tatsu's Q entrance to up here somewhere. Bring more people up here. Get the red tower open, put some rods down in uh, Rapids Camp Crossing by Roaring Rapids, and uh, yeah. And there's a gate set up by Superman. I can see it. Yeah, I know Superman was open very briefly recently. Unfortunately, I wasn't here. There goes Drop of Doom. But I wasn't here when it was open. I think Samurai Summit needs to be uh, an upcoming project of the park. I mean, just the paint alone is all faded and fallen off. Rest in peace, spin out. Rest in peace. All right, we made it to the back of the park. Got Riddler's Revenge. There's the underground over there. The Wonder Woman, which is currently closed. So yeah, it doesn't seem like many people are back here. Everyone's over at X right now and full throttle and revolution towards the front, it seems like. Uh, and we got this, uh, you guys know I love this uh, Zen garden. No, it's just, I, I don't know. It just looks tacky to me. I, I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, they recently had screen break. I, I don't know if it's still going on, it might be. But yeah, they got this saw X maze open for that. All right, I'm getting on crazy entity. It's not that bad of a line and I'm here, let's go.
just had an awesome ride on Crazy Only had to wait one cycle, so that's not bad at all. And I love that ride. And it was a great addition to the park. They needed a thrilling flat ride. And Crazy Anity knocks it out of the park. I love it. Bloodlust Bar. Yeah, it's part of the Scream Break event that they have going on during Spring Break. I might go try to catch her out on Batman. It's been a been a while. I know it's a clone. I know it's a small B and M invert, but it still packs a punch. So let's go see how it's riding, shall we? Shall we? It's a lot more quiet over here with that Wonder Woman open. Yeah, I don't know what's up with these uh, RMC single rails. It seems like they need lots of refurbishment work and pretty quick too. You know, they're not that old, so yeah, I don't know. Here's the entrance to Batman. They made it look a lot nicer when they did Wonder Woman. Like, that's pretty cool. So I just watched Batman go around and it had a weird rattle sound to it. I just had a walk on ride on Batman the ride. Now I watched it go around as, wa as I was walking through the queue and I could hear this like weird noticeable rattling sound the entire layout. And I'm like, hmm, I wonder if that's gonna transfer to like the ride experience. So I sat in the back and you can noticeably hear that rattle sound while you're on the ride. But honestly, it didn't make a, it rougher than normal. Like it was a good ride. Uh, it's still riding pretty good for, you know, how old it is. But yeah, the, the rattle sound was weird, but again, it didn't, there, it wasn't a rattle to the train. So, and I, and I sat in the back, so yeah, good ride. Walk on Batman. So yeah, here's some more stuff from that Scream Break event. It's pretty cool. Had to try and some new things and pretty sure they did it last year. Not sure if they did that before, but yeah, pretty cool that they're trying new uh, events and they got that Flavors of the World food festival, which is nice as well. Yeah, here's some more Scream Break decor. That's pretty cool. <laughs> He's got like surfboards and stuff. A nice photo op, oversized bench. So over by Pistachio Park where Sierra Sidewinder used to be. You know, they got the tag right there. And there's some other markers back there that I can't see right now that I saw last time. But whatever they're working on, it seems like a pretty big footprint. And then they got the 
whatever you call, call it, call it a construction wall, all the way down the side that goes along Looney Tunes world or Bugs Bunny world. You can see some more markers up there. Walking along the construction fence. See if we can see anything through the gate. Nothing right here. Let's see if there's anything through here. Oh, no, just some orange markers. Yeah, they got a lot of markings. They even got it on top of, uh, let's see if I can get it, up at the top of the stairs, or the seats of the old Golden Bear Theater. Oh, they got some holes right here. Big space right here. You can see more orange markings down there in the center. Lots of markings. And then Crazy Andy at the top. And then here's those signs that everyone was talking about when they first went up, including myself. The epic thrills are cycling in. Power up with the season pass. It'll be interesting to see what happens. So over on the left side, I don't know, I think those are I don't know what those are from. Could just be uh, old boards that they have to take out. Another orange marking right there. And then standing out beyond the wall. Lots of space to work with and especially if they go all the way back on the hillside that way. And also towards full throttle over there. Yeah, you look all along here. You can see all these wood posts with the orange tags on them. Some spray paint. Spray paint. Like up there. And I'm curious, you know, are they just going to leave... the old concrete seats in would they demolish that like i'm not sure again we still don't know what they're putting in but we're all speculating that it's going to be some type of roller coaster i myself believe it's going to be some sort of family launch roller coaster some people are thinking it's going to be a moto coaster Regardless, I've said, like, obviously, I want a, a, a giga coaster here. That'd be epic. But for this placement, for right here, right across from Looney Tune or Bugs Bunny World, a family launch coaster, I say, like, a Vacoma, Vacoma family launch coaster, like Big Bear Mountain at Dollywood, would be a pretty cool addition here. But time will tell. Rest in peace, Log Jammer. Rest in peace. Lost but never forgotten. So even over here by full throttle, there's a post over there. So again, I, I feel like this is gonna be a pretty good, yeah, there's another one right there. I feel like this is gonna be some torpa type of uh, Family launch coaster which with a pretty good long layout, so that'd be pretty sick.
So that's gonna do it for my quick day at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Got to get on a few rides and also check out the progress of the Golden Bear Theater location project. It'll be cool to see how that pans out and to see what's going there and then follow the construction since it's, it is my home park. And I'm gonna be getting to Knott's Berry Farm soon to check out the what's going on with Montezuma's Revenge. Check out Universal Studios and the progress on the Fast and Furious roller coaster because they're starting to go vertical on that. So I really wanna go get an update I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for upcoming videos, and remember, never stop exploring theme parks.